smoke rises from the mountain of doom. The hour grows late, and Gandalf the Grey rides to Isengard, seeking my counsel. For that is why you have come, is it not? My old friend. Saruman. You are sure of this? Beyond any doubt. So the Ring of Power has been found. All these long years, it was in the Shire. Under my very nose. And yet you did not have the wit to see it. Your love of the halfling's leaf has clearly slowed your mind. But we still have time. Time enough to counter Sauron if we act quickly. Time? What time do you think we have? Sauron has regained much of his former strength. He cannot yet take physical form, but his spirit has lost none of its potency. Concealed within his fortress, the Lord of Mordor sees all. His gaze pierces cloud, shadow, earth, and flesh. You know of what I speak, Gandalf. A great eye. Lidless, wreathed in flame. We have Sauron. He is gathering all evil to him. Very soon he will have summoned an army great enough to launch an assault upon Middle-earth. You know this? How? I have seen it. The Palantir is a dangerous tool, Saruman. Why? Why should we fear to use it? They are not all accounted for, the lost seeing stones. We do not know who else may be watching. The hour is later than you think. Sauron's forces are already moving. The Nine have left Minas Morgul. The Nine? They crossed the river Aizen on Midsummer's Eve, disguised as riders in black. They've reached the Shire. They will find the ring. And kill the one who carries it. Frodo. He did not seriously think that a hobbit could contend with the will of Sauron. There are none who can. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. We must join with him, Gandalf. We must join with Sauron. It would be wise, my friend. Tell me, friend, when did Saruman the wise abandon reason for madness? Willingly, but you have elected the way of pain! 